Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to another team video. Today we're taking a look at the spiky prickly, but just don't tell him, Kentrosaurus. So the Kentrosaurus is a very close relative of the Steg, but he tends to be a bit of a badass who does his own thing. They are incredibly angry. If you get close to one of these guys, they are going to hunt you down. And you do not want to be on the end of one of these spikes. They can actually impale people. And not just people, small dinosaurs and creatures as well. Now by now you should know the Kentro is unrideable. So its main use is going to be as a guard dog to walk alongside you in case there's any trouble. Or setting them loose around your grounds, making sure no intruders come along. It's always hard with dinosaurs like this to really see their true worth. Some creatures like Pelovia you can literally use as a hidden sort of storage area. But other creatures that don't necessarily have many of them benefits, you wonder or struggle what you're going to be using them for. But they are quite ferocious creatures. Its favourite kibble is compie eggs, so fairly relatively simple. And its favourite food or vegetables is mixed crops. Just like an Allosaurus, it has a pack mentality to it too. If there's a two or three of these together, they'll do more damage and get bonus buffs. Its health is fairly good. Stamina is a bit on the low side, considering it's got a huge amount of food. And its weight's not bad either. Its melee damage is quite high as well, comparatively to other dinosaurs its size or level. Its base actual speed though is pretty poor. So if you're thinking of running across the map with some of these in tail, I'd suggest you maybe get a boat or try and get on top of a Quetz platform. They are fairly low torpor, or I'd say about an average. Not only has it got the ferocious spikes to empower you with, it also does a bleeding effect. So even if you manage to get loose, you'll still start losing life. You can trap them with bear traps. So that's probably a good technique to use, particularly if you don't want them to use that tail of theirs. And that is really it with the Kentrosauruses. There is no real other feature other than keeping them as attack guard dogs. Purely for defence, maybe if you're going to do a short excursion where you're going out for just getting some XP to kill things. The fact that they can't chase you as quickly, or even have anything else unique, makes it maybe not as good as we'd hoped. You can see how long it's taken to actually keep up with me. I'm not even running at the moment. Here we go, going to take it on with the moss chops and that really is its shortfall it may have a powerful attack but actually keeping up with any predators is going to be really tough and as soon as it starts to attack the creatures can get away and as you can see after only a few minutes of running its stamina is completely drained so if you are going to utilise these, I would definitely just leave them around your base on wandering. Put a good few points into stamina. And that's probably going to be your best way of utilising these creatures. And apart from like the smallest of creatures, in pretty much only raptors and humans, it's the only creatures it seems to be able to impale. It's really hard to see these creatures being that useful. Although it has a good knockback ability. It just doesn't seem to actually be even impaling the creatures it's meant to. Sadly, I just don't think this creature's worth your time. Unless you're a completionist and you really want to have one of every single creature. I think the Pelovia is a much better option because it has additional things it can do. Or even just a small little army of Dilos are going to be easier to get hold of than these. And while Dilos don't do as much damage, they do have other benefits in terms of slowing down your enemy. So where can you find these creatures if you do want one? Well, the actual near the volcano is a good spot. As well as the frozen tooth mountain around that area. Pretty much anywhere where there is a mountain and area region. There are some rarer spots on the west coast and you might find some in the redwood forest. But I would definitely say around the mountainous areas most. On the centre you'll find them in the jungles of the north and the south and on the centre island on the centre map. And they are on scorched earth too, again round the biggest mountainous areas to the west. So if you want to summon one of these in, just type in summon, then leave a space, type in Kentro, that's K-E-N-T-R-O, then underscore, 
then character C H A R A C T E R then underscore again B P underscore again C so there we go guys the Kentrosaurus good looking and fantastic dino just not much use to you let me know if you've got some other ideas about what you could be used for are you hyped for this one I'm Jay Plays Games this has been another episode of Tamed and I'll see you later